George. We are from True Mission. Let's carry out some tests to see if people in our school are fit or not. The three tests are the pistol score, piano block test, and plank. Now, we can invite some schoolmates and teacher to do this test. Hello, Mr. Hi. Do you think you are fit? Not very. Do you exercise a lot? Not now. Would you like to try the pistol, pistol sport? Sure. Hold your left leg straight out in front of you. Slowly squat all the way down with the foot hovering a few inches above the floor. Do you think you are fit? No. no. In class are you guys from 1A? Do you exercise a lot? No. Would you like to try the candle blow out pack? Yes, of course. Do you think you are fit? Of course I'm not fit. You think you're fit? I fit. Oh, oh <laughs> okay. I see. Place a lit candle on the table and then blow it out. Mr. Mo, do you think you are fit? Um, I think I'm quite fit. Do you exercise a lot? About twice a week. Would you like to try the plank? Of course. The last one is plank. If you can hold for one to two minutes, you're at the average. And if you can hold up for more than six minutes, you are excellent. Well done. enough muscles to burn the fat. Oh, so this is the reason why our belly grow when we don't exercise. Yes, this sounds horrible. Can't imagine how we can end up if muscle keep losing while the fat keep accumulating in our bodies. And some fat which surround the heart and other organs may cause many health problems, such as heart failure and gallbladder problems. This type of fats also secret dangerous hormones and put you at risk of developing breast cancer and diabetes. To be frank, I don't want this type of fat growing in my body. This sounds horrible and threatening to our life. 
there are actually more, like paralyzing stroke, mental and psychological problems, and also... Stop! That's appalling! Stop wearing girls! You're still young! If you can do more exercise and form the habits, these diseases will stay away from you. Hey, why don't we start doing exercise now? Let's go! I'm so eager to try it out! Good idea! Professor, thank you for explaining the impact on the lack of exercise. Do you want to join? Good idea! But my brain is having exercise with these equations. No problem. Bye! Let's exercise. Doing exercise is the healthiest way to lose weight. I know there's a 7-minute workout, which is proven to be very effective in losing weight. I have already invited a coach and two special guests to demonstrate. Well, let's exercise together! Welcome Mr. Yeo, Ms. Lowe and Jesse. The 7 minute workout uses most of the muscles in our body, which brings many health benefits such as enhancing our metabolism. After 24 hours, 20% of extra body fat is burned and weight loss is achieved. Hey, it seems that I will be fit and strong after doing this. Okay, let's exercise. The first exercise is the jumping jack. Swing your arms and legs outwards. It is a warm up of the workout. After 30 seconds of the exercise, you have a 10 second active rest. is the wall sit. This exercise is performed by leaning against the wall in a sitting down position. You should have two right angles, at your hips and at your knees. Hold the position for 30 seconds. The third exercise is the push-up. Lie on the floor with a straight back and raise your body up and down. It is great for training your shoulders and chest muscles. The fourth exercise is the, is the abdominal crunch sit-up. Referred to most often as sit-ups, use the power of your abs to lift your back. Do it based on your ability. For beginners, no need to focus on your speed. Just try your best to finish the exercise. The fifth exercise is step up on the chair. Find a stable chair first. Step on the chair with left leg and right leg, then come down. Repeat for 30 seconds. It is great for keeping or developing lean legs, increasing the elevation. The sixth exercise is the squat. Legs open wider shoulders. Sit with your knees bent. Straighten your hands forward and maintain balance. The seventh exercise is tricep dip on chair. Position your hands with shoulders width apart on the bench. Put your feet as far out as possible and lower your body up and down off the floor. Keep your shoulders tucked in. For beginners, it is more comfortable to bend your knees when doing the exercise. The eighth exercise is the plank. Hold a push-up position, only exerting your weight on the forearms, elbows and toes. Maintain a straight back while doing the exercise. This exercise is great for your core muscles, especially the back muscles. The ninth step is high knees. Jog rapidly on the spot, lifting your feet as high as you can. Running is special for the aerial phase when both feet are in the air at the same time. This is great for toning your legs. The tenth step is lunge. Position yourself with one foot in front, knees bent and the other foot back. Keep your feet flat on the floor and keep your back straight. Alternate with different foot. The 11th step is push-up and rotation. Hold your body in a push-up position and lift your right arm up and fingers pointing to the ceiling. Then return your right arm to the mat. Alternate with different arm. Begin by lying on your right side and supporting yourself with your right forearm. 
Your elbow form a right angle with the floor. Hold for 15 seconds and alternate on the other side. Well done! A friendly reminder to beginners is that if 30 seconds is too much for you, you can cut it down to 15 seconds and day by day you can increase it. This is all for the 7 minute workout. Mr. Yun and Ms. Lur, how are you feeling now? Do you find it challenging when doing your exercise? Yes, it is quite challenging. Uh, it's quite challenging, I have to say. Uh, I just can't show you I'm sweating inside. Uh, it's, it's almost winter, but I think very hot, so I like it. Will you keep doing this exercise for your health? Yes, of course, because I want to break fats and keep fit. Oh, that's a good idea. But well, I also want uh, to do this more often because I find it very simple, easy to do. Sometimes I'm a little busy to go to a swim or a soccer match, so it's a very good idea. Thank you, Mr. Lin, Mr. J, and Jesse. You all have done a great job. If I can keep doing the 7-minute workout every day, I believe my belly will disappear one day. Ooh. Every day is easier said than done. I will work together with my classmates, so we will not give up so easily. <laughs>